because I didn't investigate Kazakhstan at all. I just had a preconceived idea of what Kazakhstan was like. I visited Almaty several times and it was always a place I wanted to come back to, to live, to work. The people I, I find very welcoming, very hospitable, are very proud of their nation. Almaty is it's, um, it's quite a vibrant city, there's a lot going on. The mountains, it's just really beautiful, so most days they're out and you can see the snow and see it from your classroom, which is really nice. The onboarding process was very, very smooth and um, exceptional, I would say. I can't remember the last time I saw beautiful snow um, and I was just blown away. I was just absolutely mesmerised. I didn't know much about Kazakhstan and I have to admit I was a little skeptical at first um, but having had the encouragement to apply and come in person um, I absolutely love it and uh, now I'm now here in my fourth year and I've signed up for several more years uh, just because the quality of life is really strong. About four years ago I was living in North Kazakhstan in Petropavlovsk uh, and while I, I was working at the Nazarbayev schools there while I was uh, Living there for two years, I visited Almaty several times and it was always a place I wanted to come back to, to live, to work, because it was such an exciting city. Um, so in that meantime, I was searching for opportunities here, so I was very happy to find one and be able to, to return to Kazakhstan. In the campus, it's, it's located in a beautiful spot. It's uh, well appointed outside. The outdoor facilities are great. My expectations were completely exceeded by the time I, uh, I arrived here. I think walking into the school building is just such a, a beautiful setup for, for children and for staff. Um, but then also just being welcomed into the staff community. Um, I think sometimes whenever you move schools internationally, you're unsure what to expect in terms of uh, quality of staff. Uh, but I was completely blown away by the amount of experience and um, uh, quality and depth of, uh, uh, of knowledge that we have. Arrival was really super easy. Um, all of our flights were booked for us. Um, we were picked up from the airport, we were taken to our flats, uh, we were given SIM cards um, and just the whole induction process has been really amazing. Um, school thought of everything, so set up the phones, the bank, um, just anything that we've needed, everyone has been super helpful. Everywhere you go, you take your own ideas and sometimes you keep those ideas to yourself. I was sat down by the English department and said, right, tell me what you can do to make us better. And I'm already working in a fantastic, high-achieving department, but they wanted to know my ideas, they wanted to share my ideas. Um, so it wasn't all about them, and this is what we do. It was basically, right, you've been in a school, and, and I was in a very good school prior to this, um, and he says, tell us the ideas, tell us the things that we can do to take from your place, because obviously you've been very successful, um, and let's add those to what we're already doing now. And in May of this year, 2023, we are credited to be the first school in Central Asia to be a high performance learning centre. And that's junior and senior school sharing the same language for learning. So we will carry on with that uh, project, um, but we will diversify with other learning and teaching initiatives as well. And that's really our sole uh, and key focus for our, our, our staff. The medical coverage provided by Halebury is truly second to none with full Bupa Global Health Insurance for you and any family members. You can have peace of mind travelling almost anywhere in the world knowing you have access to the very best medical facilities wherever you may be. I think in terms of the social side, the, the school is, is, is very good at um, either putting you in touch with uh, clubs or, or different places that you can go to socialise or, or doing a lot uh, within the school as well. So the common room committee that we have, I think works very hard on having uh, and creating a lot of social opportunities for, for staff to really uh, network and, and work together outside the school as well. And I've, I've only ever felt very uh, positive things in terms of parental involvement um, and then you know how the school arranges lots of different activities for for teachers students and parents alike i'm very very happy with the resources here i'm obviously the head of science the science faculty is well resourced we've got great staff we've got a good technician which any science teacher will know that's not always easy to find abroad and um, 
I, I'm delighted with what Haley Berry has, has presented so far. I also really enjoy the, the big markets in Almaty, the, the Green Market um, and Barahulka Market. They are very lively places where you can really see the culture and the people and, and the food and things like that. It's been the traditional place for locals to go shopping, but it's also something that I do on a Saturday morning every single week. It's where I go to get all my vegetables. It's significantly cheaper than the supermarkets. But also over the last few years, what has really changed is the variety of restaurants and also the variety of shops where now you can buy things from Europe, from UK, from the US within Almaty rather than having to order from overseas. So as you can see, all of the apartments are modern, they're spacious, um, and they're really cozy as well. The apartment rooms come with um, aircon in each of the rooms. So uh, during the hot seasons, it's uh, nice and cool in the, in the apartments. And then during the cold seasons, obviously there's uh, radiators placed around the, the rooms as well to make sure it's nice and warm during those uh, colder seasons. Um, included in the apartments as standard come things like your, uh, your, your white goods, so your kettles, your toasters, um, but also when we landed we had um, all the crockery included as well, which was just really nice touch to make sure that we felt very settled, we didn't have to go out and purchase uh, those sort of things. It was just a really nice landing into uh, what felt like a really homely uh, apartment. So Almaty is probably about the same size as Glasgow in the UK, about two million people. It's a very lively and entertaining city. Shopping options are, are good and strong. And if you are into the arts, whether that's music or performing or performance or art itself, um, it's a very cultural city. We have a lot of artists who now come to perform, especially classical music, as well as orchestras. And I know a number of our staff have been recently to a number um, of performances that happened in a theater just two minutes from our school. My first thought was, wow, Kazakhstan. But it caused me then to inquire and to investigate a little. And of course, the first thing I did was looked online and looked at Google Images and Big Lake Almaty was the first thing that, that uh, appeared, which is very dramatic. And the scenery really drew me here. There's a, so many options nearby. We've got national parks that you can go and see. Uh, Charon Canyon, Hot Springs. Uh, the Singing Dunes, Big Almaty Lake. So if you like um, big spectacular scenery, there's quite a few things to uh, take your interest. If you're looking to develop your teaching career in a modern and forward-looking environment and an atmosphere of constant support, then look no further. Come and join the team at Haley Burial Mati. Kazakhstan Ha, Khoshkildenizdir. <laughs>